this screencast lecture is about the suppressor mutation a mutation that restores the function to a defective gene by suppressing the effects of the previous mutation so that's the definition often the effects of harmful mutation can be reversed by a second genetic change that is a second mutation some of the subsequent mutation are easy to understand they may be of a simple reverse that is back mutation which change an altered nucleotide sequence back to its original arrangement some mutation can able to happen in a different locations there on the chromosome that can able to suppress the effect of the previous mutation for example a mutation has been caused on site a of a chromosome whereas the second additional genetic change or the second suppressor mutation may takes place on a site b of the chromosome and that can able to suppress the effect of the previous mutation such kind of suppressor mutation can be divided into two forms the first one is intragenic suppressor mutation these are the type of mutation that are occurring within the same gene as the original mutation occurs but the second mutation will be occurring at a different site in that same gene this kind of suppressor mutation are referred as a intragenic suppression whereas the second mutation that is happening to minimize the effect of the first mutation is taking place in another gene or in a different gene it is referred as a intergenic suppression thus genes that cause suppression of mutation in the other genes are collectively or commonly referred as a suppressor genes both intergenic and intragenic suppression kind of mutations help in the production of a good or partially good copies of the protein which was initially made inactive by the first mutation or original harmful mutation however their mechanism seems to be different an example for intragenic suppression can be considered in the case of a missense mutation that leads to change in the reading frame that is a frame shift mutation that have been caused by intragenic suppression it effects can sometimes be reversed through an additional missense mutation in the same gene that is a second mutation in such cases what is exactly happening the original loss of enzyme activity may be due to an altered three dimensional configuration of the protein mainly due to the presence of an incorrect amino acid there in the protein so this incorrect amino acid can be replaced by a second missense mutation that is the intragenic suppressor mutation that have been taking place after the first mutation this second missense mutation will be taking place in the same gene which can able to bring back the biological activity partially can able to restore partially or fully depend upon the type of mutation caused now in this diagram i try to explain the intragenic suppressor mutation that have been taking place in a gene you can able to see a part of the gene has been deleted deletion of a nucleotide during the gene replication process that leads to the production of a missense codon that is the frame shift have been changed because of that missense codon has been formed that results in the translation and formation of a incorrect amino acid thus the first mutation caused the loss in the functioning of that protein the second part of the diagram explain how the suppressor mutation is playing a role there again some sequence have got inserted there insertion of a nucleotide will be happening during the gene replication process this insertion in turn codes for some kind of a amino acids that is the previous missense codon based amino acids are now replaced with two other different kinds of amino acids so this insertion results in the production of a complete polypeptide chain having two amino acid replacements there depending upon the change in the sequence the protein may have partially or full activity the next part of the lecture is related to mutational rate mutational rate refers to frequency of new mutation in a single gene or an organism over a period of time whereas mutational frequency represents the proportion of cells in a population harboring a mutation in a gene at any one point of a time or at any given point of time mutations are not constant and are not limited to a single type but different types of mutation will be occurring there in an organism mutation rates are specific for a particular type of mutation 
the mutation rate of an organism is an evolved characteristic feature and it is strongly influenced by two factors. One is the genetics or genome of each organism and the next one is environmental influence. The mutation rate does also vary over the genome of the organism and based on the type of genetic source or genetic material in which it is happening. It depends upon the DNA, RNA, single gene, the mutation rates will be changing. The mutation rates in human increases certain health risks such as cancer and the formation of certain hereditary diseases. So, the knowledge of mutation rate is vital or important in understanding the causation of a cancer as well as hereditary diseases. Measurements of the mutation rates will be commonly varying. For example, fluctuation test is the one which is employed to measure the mutation rate and it is a basis for the Luria and Delbrook's experiment. This experiment proves that the genetic variation in a bacterial population arises spontaneously or adaptively. The most commonly measured class of mutations are mainly substitution because they are relatively easy to measure in a genome or in a standard DNA sequence data. However, substitutions have substantially different rates of mutation. They can form one in a billion cell or hundred, one in a hundred million cell per generation for most of the cellular organism. Factors that influence the mutational rate include fidelity of the DNA polymerase enzyme, activity of the various DNA repair pathways in the cell and exposure of an organism to the mutagen.